Good morning, everyone. It is 8 a.m. It's time for the Good Morning News. Daily, Sunday through Saturday, from 7 to 9, you are repeated, located in the church of Wisconsin. It's for the purpose of good fellowship and message handling and filled with all life of the amateur operators. Pet control this morning on this first day of deer hunting. God. W9, UUB from Algoma. There's all kinds of orange people in the woods. Okay, order check ins. First will be mobile in short time. Then we'll go over to Temple Link and Cross Band. And finally, VHF station. Please note who you follow and who you proceed. Um, if you miss a check in, please wait. We will do several. I will do several additional calls. So give us a full three minutes to well, take a full three minute turn if you'd like, but make sure you don't go over or you crash everything. Uh, first up will be emergency priority number. Please call W and I UV. Hearing that, mobile in short time, your turn. ARZ Mobile. Good morning, Kevin. You're up first. K A nine ARZ. Bruce W nine UUV. This is K A nine ARZ. A very good morning to all on this uh, Bruce Joke Saturday, where. Uh, yeah, the wind is somewhat uh, playing a joke on the uh, deer hunters. Looks like a pretty strong breeze coming out of the uh, north right now. I was uh, going to uh, essentially uh, make one last uh, fishing uh, trip out to the Stone Court. Drove out there, and uh, yeah, where I live, of course, you know, the north wind is usually blocked by the uh, big hill uh, park, the hill there, and uh, yeah, major uh, wave action, white caps, and everything. So. Uh, just uh, drove through uh, downtown Little Harbor here a few moments ago and uh, taking a quick uh, test drive. My car had you know, some new tires put on it, and yeah, so far riding uh, fairly uh, smooth out here. So uh, be kind of just a short uh, drive, uh, turn off here on uh, County Road towards uh, Carlsville and then uh, head back there. So uh, yeah, might uh, check out the uh, parade. Uh, downtown Sturgeon Bay later on uh, this morning there, and uh, see how many people uh, show up for that uh, dressed uh, warmly. So with that, on this Bruce Joke Saturday, back to Net Control, W9UUB, KA9ARZ. Good morning, all.
Top of the order will be K9 GU, that's Michelle. Get over to KD9 YJH. KD9 EIP. G1 KU. Uh, M9 EDB, welcome back out. Uh, K9 BXG, Bob. Victor, Victor, Cynthia. And H9 P, Damien. Then over to VHF, RDWAR. John, November, November. Rick, OBB, Red, UP, Joan, KMA, and finally, LNC. Did I miss anyone? Oh, great lineup. Here we go. Jokes of the day. Well, the observation. Picking up a tiny piece of paper takes about two seconds, but instead I'd rather run over it with a vacuum cleaner at least a hundred times from every direction. Uh, man arrives home after a successful implant of a pacemaker, and he's reading through a little bit of the literature that he was provided, and was quite pleased to learn that the pacemaker comes with a lifetime guarantee. Uh, what do you call a wreath made of $100 bills? Well, of course you call it and Aretha Franklin. And uh, there you go. Three for today. Okay, top of the order. Let's go back to Michelle, K9GU, W9UUB. Good morning, Michelle. Thank you. 
that all apart and turn it into a 200 foot roll of things that stand uh, wire to, to run as the antenna for my FDI. You know, string that up onto our uh, 40 foot cover, collect uh, these down up there, and uh, see what the rest of the yard and uh, see what I can do with that. Um, I guess that's about it for me. KB9YJH over to KB9VIP. Thank you, this is KB9VIP. Larry in Algonquin, Illinois. Yes, me too. I'm getting ready for things to Looking forward to it. My contribution is I'm going to bring the Hawaiian rolls to the uh, table that uh, a friend of my wife's and I uh, they used to come over here every year, but I'm going over there this year to see what kind of trouble I can get into, play with their dogs, fool around with uh, their pups, and uh, they have a good time. That uh, long wire antenna, random wire, sounds like a good idea. I might want to try that up north next year. I'm fumbling around trying to find an antenna for up north. By up north, I mean Sister Bay. I need to throw it over the top of those 60 foot trees, see what happens, load it up with an on It always sounds like you say onion. Do you ever notice it? But uh, it's, I had a good time last year with my with my uh, receiver. Uh, unfortunately, I got to do it a little bit later than I wanted to. I left in October and finally got into the ham shack in September, so I didn't have too long to play with it. Anyway, that's the way it is here in Chicago area, but not Chicago. I haven't been to Chicago in a long time. Don't want to go to Chicago. Who wants to go to Chicago? Except out of towners who hear a lot about it. Believe me, you don't want to be there. One of those people is Alan. Alan, you don't want to go to Chicago, do you? Give me an ID, ID over to G1 and KU, KU, whatever it is. Take it away, Al. Okay. <laughs> I don't do the 
happens very often. So, uh, in case they were being a little delayed there, just about home. We've got another pile of uh, saw logs here, or actually firewood logs. We hauled a couple of those to the uh, local uh, recycle place uh, from Cooler. I worked for their uh, the original company, Kubiak Tools, many years ago. And uh, just heading on home. Uh, going to drop some logs off over by another French place. We're going to be pouring some concrete Monday morning or Monday sometime. I haven't uh, done any concrete work in a while, and I don't really miss it at all. But good friend, and you got to help them. So, uh, there was... I was going to make a comment to, about one of your comments there, Bruce, but uh, I forgot what it is. And I don't know who is after me. And like I said, I'm driving with a big load behind. So that's about it. Okay, A9 BXP. Hey, Bob. Goes over to Cynthia Victor Victor and then Damien, AG9P. Damien, when you're done, turn it back to me, please. both of you and good morning to all and what a glorious day it is and you know I woke up at my usual quarter to five this morning and just made myself go back to sleep and woke up just before the next so what a treat that was um Bruce <laughs> the, the picking up the piece of paper with the vacuum that was really really a hoot you know it brings out the compulsiveness and people for sure and I love the Aretha Franklin. That's really cool, too. That's very clever. Good job. So with the sunshine today, I want to try to get some of our Christmas lights out there. Um, everything will be really abbreviated this year. With us going away for a couple weeks and all of that. So um, just really lucky to have been able to get in this vacation with my new job and um, the whole thing was for the first six months you only get a few hours that you can take off and the rest you want to try to take off before the end of the year so that only gave me from September to December and uh, it's going to be rough this job is unbelievably intense and I just have never ever experienced this amount of pressure and detail and rules and oh my god the forms and had um, three people that I had to do conditional jail time for that did some very bad things while on probation and uh, you have to go before the regional chief and um, the judges to be able to, to do that so it's very interesting um so after we get the lights up, I don't know, we're going to be probably making a run to the dump and Green Bay and who knows what else. I've got a lot on my plate here for this weekend. So have a very good day. Uh, a a, a 9 bb over to you. AG9P. Good morning, sweetheart. Oil it 
And uh, but just to be safe, I put a brand new one in the hole. And I'm confused of who I turned this over to. I thought it was thought it was W A R, but Cynthia tells me I had my sound turned down. She says it's back to net control. So AG nine T back to net control. Thanks, Artie, for the interruption. Squeeze in here. I want to just see if Michelle is here. I mean, excuse me, um, Mark is back, or Alan is back um, from the UK. T1 AU, I see you on the board again. Um, we didn't get your first turn, so take a turn now, please. W9 UUB.
Well, um, out of the order. Uh, yesterday, I went to Green Bay to knock off a few other errands. Had to get a furnace filter for my Geo. Almost seventy dollars for a fleeted filter. Oh. Um, and I know they're less online, but anyway, one filter lasts a year, so I guess I don't have to think about it for a while. Um, let's see, what else? Uh, well, Cynthia and Damien, you'll get a kick out of this. We went to Taylor Creek yesterday, and I haven't been there. I'm well familiar with the place. I sit in the car and read a book, but Chris was looking for a set of lights that had a white cord. Um, and she was in for probably 10 minutes, came out empty-handed. I said, didn't find what you're looking for? She said, there's over 60 people waiting to check out. 60. She was in a short line for a while, and that line moved. And then she realized, oh, wait a minute, that's the return line. <laughs> uh, so we went to a, one of our favorite places for fish, and... Um, yeah, just a, kind of a leisurely afternoon. Um, managed to avoid traffic. Oh, maple with me slipped there. Much smaller line there, but um, that's an organized place. And I was looking for a cut of meat that I heard about on a TV show that, according to three or four butchers, doesn't exist. See, they make things up. Okay, uh, let's uh, see if we missed anyone on the first call. Uh, anybody that would like to join the Good Morning Net, please call W9UUV. Okay, hearing no one, as is our custom, we will go back to the Echo Link folks for a second turn. So first up will be Michelle. Uh, K9 GU, and then over to uh, Craig, KD9 YJH, Larry KD9 DIP, Alan uh, EDU, no, EDB, Alan EDU. Oh, I got that screwed up. Well, I don't know. We're going to see if our British guy would like a second turn. So after DIP, Larry turn it over to G1 AEU, Alan. Then we'll go to our second Allen, M9 EDV, K9 BXG, and uh, Cynthia, Victor Victor, and Damian AG9B. I think we got them all. Okay. So, back to Michelle, K9 GU, W9 UUB. Have an old issue 
might be Larry. Craig, if you were more paranoid, you'd uh, think somebody was trying to kick you off. Peer requests. We don't want this guy on here anymore. That's, uh, that's the ultimate. You're paranoid. You go to a football game. You see those 11 guys down in a huddle. You think they're all talking about you. That's, that's paranoid. <laughs> Alan, over in England. Believe me, Alan. After the first snowfall, where everybody's moving and eyeing and thinking of courier and eyes and sleigh rides, after the first snowfall, it's all rubbish snow, Al. Believe me. <laughs> Everybody thinks that way, except when you're stuck in Alaska. When it, uh, when it melts and they got mud, that's rubbish. But uh, at any rate, that's all I got. Over to uh, uh, my, my Beetle buddy, uh, Alan. And uh, let me hear that clock tick behind you. Oh, yeah, hey, Joan. Yeah, or not, not Joan. Uh, Artie, you got one more big LED in the room, Artie. You got your TV. That's all LEDs. Unless you're still stuck with an LCD. Or better yet, a plasma. Wow. Oof. Were those energy hogs. All right, Alan, I'm sorry. I'm quick waffling and get cracking. Jamie Knight, D.I.G. over to G1-A-U-E. Lay loose. There's a stuff line here. Oh, well, the, um, Gary, I, I would, what, what, my, what, my Chicago, you know, the girl, the bride in our chest, Away from all the phones of a gang, that I think I will be too old for Chicago today. A lot of fancy New England, and of course, I have to say, with something. I have looked up an Aunt Candido Grace as a interesting lady giving his thoughts about it. And I realize why it's called Kangaroo Lake. Although, according to the Navy, it's a really other than a sea, darling, rather than a cake. But there we are. No. I have got it. I have got it. Put up. I have put up my other computer. A web of that. A web of that. A web of that. And it said, we are 59 Fahrenheit, 20 point, 29 point, 83, it is on the three, and 24 miles per hour wind. So I rattled all that book, it's a book, to the restaurant. I use a lyric, lyric on this computer. But he, but he will to put one on the Windows 10 computer. Now, now um, I, I got over to PC a moment. <laughs> Not a time out. Hang by. I have PC. Um, show, show. Here in Bordeaux, my wife's name. Is Janet. Do this, Alpha November Echo Tango. And my daughter is called Evan H E S H E L P S E. I went Marie, but she is called for short Evan. Evan with a D. So I would have got that too. Got to, uh, oh, um, I wish you would have got another. Be what pay you will.
Okay, uh, Alan, and good afternoon to you. Uh, my wife's name here is Sandy, and uh, right now the sun is shining brightly, which, which helps the temperature output a bit. Uh, and Joan, you got a good TV there. Uh, we have a Samsung, and we've had it for 14 years, 46 inch. I can see a little resolution line coming in, so I think it's probably headed south. I'm pretty sure we'll probably replace it, but we want some real stuff. But uh, we had it for 14 years, and it's still a really good service. Um, and uh, recently I just installed a doorbell with a camera on it. You might think it was, oh, that's the ring. Oh, no. No, it's in the TNA doorbell by Energizer, which makes, you know, makes the battery, which was much cheaper than Ring. And uh, I can uh, record videos. I've got a micro SD card in it with pictures, and you can talk to the person at the door on your system with your cell phone. So it's going to come in handy for us here. Um, and uh, I used it uh, just yesterday, and uh, it's just working really nice. So uh, much cheaper than this. So um, that's all I have. Just put that on. Uh, and uh, that's all I have for right now, I guess. My voice is uh, just starting to go. Um, over to uh, Bob, K9, ESG, and I need to I made it home safely. Didn't lose a single log. I still have a few more miles before I'm done here to get this off. But uh, just outside here, spending a little time with the stretch machine, uh, fitting everything up. I don't know how it fits before, but <laughs> it's going to be a lot, hopefully a lot better this time. So, really nothing else. Everybody have a good uh, time. And Cynthia, yeah, I uh, got some more wood from uh, Dave. Uh, so, 73 is all, 89 DXP. imagine that guy's got a tool for everything and that's why he really has a lot of fun, my cousin. Oh, let's see, LED lights. This place is absolutely spooky. Every room you go in at night, if all the lights are off, it is an eerie, eerie sight. And none of the LED lights are mine, if that gives you a clue. And here we are in the land of shotguns on the opening morning of deer hunting. So we've got the bay across from us. So starting in September, we've got the, the duck hunters out there at the crack of dawn. They're shooting away, and we've got the, the skeet shooting not too far away. So we're very familiar with that sound. It's actually quite comforting to me. And we were joking about with the sunrise this morning at 6.52, how long do you think it would have been before we heard a gunshot? And I'll tell you what, I was sound asleep today, so I did not hear any shots so far, and the deer are down. Um, there used to be at least 18 in our fields, and then 16, and then 12, and 10, and 8, and so on. And now there might be three running around out there. And Bruce Taylor Creek experience, well... I'm sad that you didn't go in. It is just worthwhile. And, yeah, the lines are long, but the way they have it all positioned, you just shop your way through the line. They've got cute signs and cards and earrings, and so you just shop your way through the line. Mm, I read some of the signs to Damien when we were there last week going through, but, uh, yeah, it's, it's quite an operation there. Just a, a beautiful store. Worth the walk through, truly. 89 dB over to 1890, and it's going to tell you the price for the all you can fit. Yeah, the Taylor Creek uh, line was 60 
people, and like she says, you shop your way through it, and they had four cashiers, and then when we got to the front of the line, we had to wait for a special cashier, which just happened to be Cynthia's sister. <laughs> I guess they get this job. <laughs> Uh, all right, yeah, the, the Shiloh restaurant there, the all you can eat. This was seven ninety nine, and it even I told you about it, but it also came with a separate dish of uh, salad with a little of everything in it. That's a sort of a meal in itself, and and a, a reasonable amount of blue cheese dressing. So that was. Um, so we left them a $6 tip. AC90, back to nut control. Thank you, folks. Uh, bottom of the order. So, any link check-ins and or comments, please call W9UUB. Sal, 
I wanted to do TV talk with you. Um, maybe you will be in the same position. Uh, thank you for the support on this Samsung. Um, it was part of a Black Friday promotion, so a considerable discount. Um, 43 inches uh, for our house is plenty big. Um, I'm pretty sure they have a 50 inch, and I don't know what the sale price of that is. But uh, just a safety tip, um, and I'm going to go do battle with Walmart this afternoon. If you purchase it online, it was $20 less than if you are in the store and buy it. And, of course, I said, you know, that's not the right price. And he said, I don't have the sale, blah, blah, blah. I go home, I look, it's like, yeah, it's a, good, it's a Black Friday special, and he didn't have that available. Well, it turns out, apparently, the fine print, which I don't see anywhere, says must be purchased online. So you can literally make the order online, pick it up at the store, and it's $20 less. This makes no sense. Um, but I wanted to say to you, the, the picture itself is so sharp that I'm going to go into the settings once I learn how to get in and out of them. Um, we think it's um, almost like a special effect where the face is in just hyper focus and then a little bit of dimming of the background and uh, you know one of them is cinematic and this and this and that so it may be that we just have other settings to scroll through but this, my, my point in all of this is it is a tremendous difference in the weight of the television and the um the kind of picture and sound. I think it's very improved in the 10 years since I've replaced mine. Back to you. Well, that's for sure. Um, I always use the old one, but the bezel, about uh, I'd say, well, three or four bezel around it, which at the time I thought was kind of neat, but now I'd rather go with it. And it looks like a picture. And you can hang them on the wall. Uh, in fact, it's, in fact it's, you know, they have uh, TVs out there now that you can mask your wall. So in other words, if it, it, the selfie, it goes away because you're matching the color of your wall to the TV, you can't see the TV. <laughs> I mean, they've come so much uh, so far with these things, and it's 14 used to be the the biggest thing now. I don't know what's out there now. I haven't looked at them recently, but it's like looking out a window glass, you know. And back in the day, I remember we went to Washington, D.C., and they had, back then, that's when the cutting edge was of the HD was coming in, and they had a TV there. And I said back then, I said, that, that's just looking out a window. And um, that's exactly what happened. It, it, yeah, they've come a long, long, long way. So we will, we will be upgrading at some point, but not just yet. And I probably might hang it on the, on the wall. We'll see. But, uh, yeah, you're right. Um, and I, so I, I, on the new TV, so I have no idea how to adjust some of those. But uh, you should be super happy, especially watching games, you know, for uh, golf. You can see the dimples on the golf ball. That's real. I think you're absolutely right. And it's possible that the issue I'm seeing is the definition of the kind uh, this is. Um, it says it's a crystal UHD, ultra high def 4K smart television. Well, it, it is unbelievable. Um, I'm trying to scroll down and see what sale might appeal to you. This same one in a 50-inch for you is 327 so I don't know if that's a sale price or not. But uh, if you're not looking, then there you go. But, boy, you know, you heard me maybe last week if you were listening. Um, I have a list of things that I'm waiting to see if it goes on sale for Black Friday. And then, big surprise to me, Black Friday is basically all month at the big box stores. They want you to buy early and buy whatever. But here's the feature that is vastly improved, 
and really worked is the sound leveling. So instead of the up down up down of sound with commercials or different stations, you set a volume and it holds it as you scroll through different TV stations. That is going to be just a, a nice little feature. Um, and then apparently there is a light sensor built into this TV that adjusts the brightness of the screen depending on how bright the room is. So if you need to overcome glare, it's going to be really bright, but then when it's a dark room, it's going to knock it down. Well, you know, these people sound like I'm talking about, hey, they've got a machine that slices bread. But, you know, when you're so technology averse, this is really a big deal. Yesterday, it proved its worth. We had missed an episode on PBS of the Native American series, and so I loaded up that PBS passport, and I clicked the button, and we watched TV from the Internet, and I even figured out how to do it. So all I can do is that stuff. What I can't do is get my remote to control volume from the cable remote. <laughs> so it, we're still not all the way paired, but, you know, because it's a little cumbersome to switch back and forth to two remotes, but at least it's working.
skepticism man, about saying about that was a great, great great place. But this is what I do know. Our Samsung was intense for this many years. But I know my brother in law is he has some issues. But you know, you know what do you do? I mean uh, L G is good, um you know, there's so many brands out there, and some of them are, some of them are off, those off brands out there, okay, but who knows? You know, it's kind of like war with them, so I want to catch you within the warranty, it might be okay. But, um, yeah, no, it's, it, it, there's a lot of brands out there, that's it. Roger on that, uh, Al N9 DVD from KA9 uh, ARC. Um, yeah, a couple of ones that I uh, got, yeah, in fact, yeah, I think I mentioned, like, uh, earlier this year at, uh, yeah, that Jefferson County, uh, Ham Fest, yeah, the one that's indoors, got that, uh, Polaroid, uh, yeah, name brand, uh, TV, and it's also got, like, a DVD, uh, player in it as well, and, yeah, you know, of course, I got it for next to nothing at the, the Ham Fest, and, uh, yeah, with the remote and everything, and, uh, yeah, it works really, uh, nice there. Of course, you know, money got in it. If it was a lemon, uh, it wouldn't be out the uh, proverbial king for instance. And then, uh, yeah, the old, uh, I guess the CRT uh, tube variety. Now, I guess, you know, you're still using, you know, with the converter box, but yeah, I was up in Nash Falls, yeah, I mentioned that, uh, yeah, near where I was living in an apartment, they had this one, uh, you know, kind of special uh, crazy day thing, but it didn't go, and uh, they actually yeah, gave me uh, a dollar to, to take the thing, and, you know, Curtis Mathis, you know, at the time it was like the Cadillac of uh, TVs, and, you know, still got the thing, you know, lived here, it works like a charm, and sometimes it has this weird glitch that happens that, uh, you know, on occasion, you know, of course it's just, you know, a rarity, and you turn the thing on, all of a sudden, you'll see almost like a ring of uh, colors there. And the uh, thing was that, uh, you know, first time it happened, I thought, you know, it was the goner, but just pulled the plug on it. And then uh, after a while, you know, after it was unplugged, you know, plugged it back in, turned it down, and, you know, worked like nothing happened. So if that glitch ever happens, I do that, and uh, the thing works there. So, uh, anyways, uh, hope uh, everybody going for those uh, Black Friday uh, TV bargains uh, should. Uh, 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 compliance, so to speak, there, and not the proverbial lemon. So, anyway, just wanted to uh, add that. So, nice chatting with you, uh, Al, and uh, maybe see you again on the uh, next uh, tomorrow. N9 EV, K9 Air Z, clear and monitoring. Okay, Kevin, yeah, I gotta go here, too, so, uh, yeah, have a, a, a good Thanksgiving, and um, where, wherever it might be, and um, try and make sure you dodge the little bullet. That night, you need to be able to
Yeah, we're actually on that. Yeah, because, yeah, the ones we got, yeah, kind of more, yeah, of course, yeah, that curtain mask wouldn't have uh, anything uh, like uh, that. But, uh, yeah, I got a couple of, uh, you know, digital TV jobbies, uh, tiny ones, uh, you know, that, uh, you know, not, uh, you know, have all those bells and whistles. Still got a good, uh, you yeah, know, picture like one I got, uh, you yeah, know, back in uh, early uh, 2016. You yeah, know, works really nice and compared to the old, uh, you know, uh, CRT. Uh, type of TVs, you know, amazing, uh, you know, difference in, uh, you know, size and so on, like this one, you know, a 19-inch one, I could just carry it under my arm and take it out, you know, the store after I, I bought that thing, you know, as opposed to, you know, having to, to lug it out there, but, uh, yeah, your audio, yeah, that uh, time, yeah, that's the background that you're bringing in on the internet, yeah, that was totally gone there, but, uh, yeah, I don't know, that's probably, you know, signal, a little bit, you know, it's a minor crack thing, probably from your signal to the um, computer site or something like that, but that wasn't even coming close to drowning you out there. But, uh, yeah, anyways, uh, yeah, with uh, Echo Link and so on, you got to, yeah, watch out that, uh, yeah, you don't have some uh, weird things happening. Sometimes, yeah, it can be uh, kind of a challenge to set it up, but once you got it set up, uh, you can make it uh, work like a charm. Uh, KB9, um, YGH from ka 9 ARZ. Yeah, it could be the uh, device there, like uh, one uh, uh, kind of Android phone I got, but uh, apparently yeah, it became uh, outdated uh, there. I could, uh, kinda, you know, but the size, you know, like I like the, you know, the small ones, you can see these, like in a shirt pocket. I'm not crazy about the newer ones that are, you know, bigger and bulkier. They're almost, uh, you know, going on uh, tablet size there. But uh, anyways, uh, yeah. Um, Usually, yeah, the other device I saw I hadn't had any uh, issues with that, but that one, I don't know, like, if something, like, uh, tried to, you know, go in some place and it tried to upgrade, update on its own, but, like, one had something about wants to connect to Bluetooth, and uh, it, uh, you know, tried to do that, like, I was able to override that by just letting it go, like, you know, three uh, cycles of 20 seconds, then it would stop, but, uh, yeah, I know, like, for a while, people, like, with that uh, Bluetooth, uh, Situation. It totally wiped out their uh, audio there, you know, if they had a certain type of, you know, phone. So, uh, yeah, it's avoiding, you know, avoiding, you know, ever using, you know, Bluetooth with the uh, echo link. So it had, you know, good results, uh, you know, staying away from the Bluetooth with uh, various uh, devices there when it used the echo link there. So, anyways, uh, thanks uh chatting with you uh, post-net. Uh, yeah, there's another net coming up, uh, Tom, on... Uh, the uh, Kiwani County Repeater at uh, 9.30 usually runs us uh, get uh, on that. And then, uh, you know, of course, head out the door here a few moments uh, for that break. So, 73, nice chatting with you. Hope to uh, chat with you down the road. You can add my GH, K-A-9-A-R-Z, clear.